It's Uncle Bob coming to you live uh, November 10th, 2021, year of our Lord. Uh, <clears throat> so it's been a interesting few months. August was the month of COVID. Uh, managed to survive that. Um, some of you have noticed that my left hip has been giving me a lot of trouble over the last several years. And uh, I finally opted to go in for uh, hip replacement surgery. And it's been three weeks as of Monday. And I'm back to walking without assistance. <clears throat> I've been in the gym every day uh, since about the fourth day of surgery and um, doing physical training every day, PT, and um, getting the hip where it's flexible. I can almost put a sock on by myself. <laughs> Talk about a landmark achievement, right? So um, here at LA Fitness, I just wrapped up uh, back and biceps, abs, um, three miles on the bike, as well as uh, about 11 exercises of uh, physical training and uh, managed to do the, the 300, 300 reps today. Um, <clears throat> the coolest part about all of that is that I'm, I, I don't have any pain. The, that hip replacement is uh, a modern miracle, uh, what they do. Took it all, all about an hour and a half to uh, go through the surgery and uh, man, what a, what a difference. And uh, I, my diet after that uh, really just continued uh, with the same eating habits that I developed uh, going through COVID. So I supplemented one of my meals with a protein shake in the morning and cut back on uh, uh, proportions, right? How much I'm eating. And, uh, I'm right now sitting at, uh, as of this morning, uh, 199 pounds. That's 27 pounds lighter than I was when I got COVID. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, things are good. Life is good. Uh, even during my downtime, I worked Dana helped me out, made sure that uh, things were taken care of, clients were taken care of, and we still are closing record numbers in the industry and uh, not buying leads, not uh, call, cold calling and nagging the hell out of people like you. Um, we are called when we are needed. And after 18 years in this industry and being a top producer for that long, uh, it's an honor uh, to be out here and serving all of you. Uh, anyway, this is uh, my uh, segment for the day. I just want you all to know that uh, we love you. We're thinking about you. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. <coughs> Lord knows there's a, a lot of craziness going on out there. Protect your kids. They're coming for them, you know. Uh, I saw some staggering statistics today. 0.07% of the 53,000 children in the Corona Norco Unified School District uh, might have gotten COVID. Um, they're kids. They're resilient. I, I don't know that... I don't know that I'm going to, I wouldn't, I, I can tell you, I wouldn't um, immunize my little ones. Um, I saw the school board meeting from uh, yesterday and I, I know who all of those people are sitting on that school board and I don't know, um, I don't know what the outcome was, but <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see what they uh, what they do I don't know I don't believe in mandates I don't believe in shoving it down people's throats I think it's unconstitutional I think that we're going to find that it is ruled unconstitutional but just do me a favor and just 
Look out for your kids. They're the only ones you got. Look out for you. Look out for your kids. Do what you got to do. I'm not going to criticize you either way. I'm not going to go into my stance on what I believe because I'm not going to shove it down your throat one way or the other. Do it for you. And don't brag about it because nobody gives a shit. Anyway, Uncle Bob's out. Have a great rest of your week. I'll catch up with you soon.